Hello, Riley. Hello, Mac. How are you coming? Oh, just fine. How are you? Pretty Th good. Say, it's been a long time. Hello, hello. <coughs> Put that mean run in. All right, come on, let's there go. There it goes. Wait a minute, I'm not quite in tune. All right, let's go. All right, here it goes. <laughs> Woo! First words of the day. Uh, I guess I was talking to the cat and the dog. But good morning, everybody. What's going on? Dennis Allen here. Had a lovely night in the airstream. Today's a big day. Uh, kind of like a sad day, but it has to happen. We are taking down the yurt today. It's going bye byes. Alrighty guys, let's see if this works. I have my phone strapped into uh into my front basket. Kind of like a bootleg holder. Eddie, I'm gonna go do laundry. You stay. You can stay, I'll be back and then you'll meet me downstairs. Alright, he's gonna do that. Can you hear me? about the uh turn the engine off and coast now you can definitely hear me i uh got my sauerkraut good for the gut between my legs oh that's kind of bad place for it i guess i was gonna cut that tree down but i decided not to because i kind of like them there and it's a maple and my friend's daughter's name is Maple, so that tree is named after Maple, Maple. I went down nice and slow. So here we are. Look at that mess. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go do some laundry. Eddie did not do a good job of staying. Um, I guess he thought that I was back already. So today I'm going to clean out a couple of the containers, mainly the red one back there, that one. That one is, uh, what's a bird? It's just storage. So that's going to be uh, cleaned up a little bit. I have a bunch of old, like, uh, secretary chairs. You know, those uh, desk chairs, old, nice oak, hard ones. Um, I'm going to hang those up on the container on the top there. I'm going to, they're taking up a lot of room. I didn't stack them too high because they're nice old chairs. So um, maybe I could find a better place for them too. I could throw probably a couple in that one. This one I've been starting to really clean out. It's my tool shed, my workshop. Um, that's what I'm starting at as a workshop. This is all going to be, well, that'll probably be storage. Uh, maybe that one too. Yeah, they'll stay storage. So this is always going to be my, my main shop. This whole area, roof on it. Uh, roof on it. Oh, that's weird. I can't do that. And, uh, yeah. And it's going to be all metal, metal roof. This way I can just weld whatever I want. It'll be nice, nice. All right, let me go do some laundry and get to work today. You stay. I'm serious. I don't want you running in the street. He's not going to. So check this out. This is my uh, crick that goes over the bridge, my bridge, and uh, goes down to Pine Creek. And the past couple of days we got some good rain and uh, things are flowing again. Man, you know what? Looking at this bridge, Wrangler Sarge is being a bridge kind of uh, similar to mine. Uh, the bottom of mine are big I-beams though. This was built for a quarry, so uh, we have cement trucks going over this thing, but that's sloppy. Like, how could, uh, brrr, I don't know. Am I happy with that? I should at least put an edge on it, you know, because this would stink. You know, ice. I mean, for a car, it'd be, I don't know, it'd be 
almost sliding off into the creek there. Hey, everybody, I'm thinking about digging that out. There's a cave where all that water goes, but I'm sure it's just all rocks that's just falling through rock. Um, I'm going to ask John Claire about that, or anybody really knows. Thinking about digging that out, making a deep spot there. I don't know why. I think it'll be cool. Maybe fish could stay in there, and maybe like a swamp creature. All right, I got to go. the chicken. I'm gonna put this in my uh, big fridge. All right, we're at the farm. I'm gonna throw some laundry in and then I'm gonna dry it up there. Uh, kind of over there, that way. All right, let me get inside. All right, the drone's up there, right there. There he is, he's watching us, we're watching him. What I'm gonna be doing now is, uh, so this is the horse hair. This goes up to the tanu cover, as you can see from the drone shots. A nice simple one there. I made all these pretty much, uh, Quick disconnects, hope there's no animals living in here. Like wild banshees. See how simple. The other way, I'm gonna go this way around. There's one here. Yep, that's just a simple fluckling, like that. And then off the hook. And there should be uno mas. That means one moss. One more. And this one is, oh, it is a disc quick. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. Not done very well, but. All right, so all of these are off. I'm gonna, ooh, there's a wasp. But a wasp really like it here. Ooh. I'm getting lightheaded. Huh. All right, let me, uh, let me pull these things over. Amazing, the uh, <laughs> I'm pulling it off and I'm getting electrocuted. Woo, because it's static electricity. So got the top off, I'm gonna fold that bad boy up and see what else I could take apart before it still gets here. All right. I got most of the garbage out, except for the uh, the cast iron stove. I'm gonna wait for, for the guys to get here. I was gonna use my Jeep, but I think uh, I think Billy Ray got this. A couple shelves, a couple things on there. No, look, the basket's even front, empty in the front. I'm gonna try to bring this stuff down. All right, it looks like uh, like I'm gonna be able to do this. Let's see if I can move with this. Put her in gear and get her done. Got two bungees on there, I think. All right, I'm gonna focus on this. All right, go that way. All right, so that is the cover. As you can see, the yurt is naked now. Ooh, geez, those wasps were mad at me. There was a couple wasp nests, but most of the hard stuff's done. All right, down to the wool. So the one problem with these sometimes You'll get uh, moldy wool, but I don't see any signs of any kind of mold or any wetness or anything. So she looks good, except for the wasps. 
They're like, uh, hey, what'd you do with our our honeycomb? I mean, our whatever. Woo! Another step down for the naked yurt. All right, so those are the, that's the wool insulation. It came from the top. Um, a little too big to fold by myself. So maybe I'll wait for those guys. Oh, and I just got a message now. Let me show you. Uh, so they're gonna be here. So this is working out well. Alrighty, all the felt is off. We have a bear, bear naked lady here. Well, she's not bear yet. She's got a little, a little nighty on, a little undies. Oh, yep. So, what's going on now is they're starting to fall out. This is where you need two people, I guess, to catch them and hold everything up. Ooh, I don't want to get in the head. You see? So these things are starting to twist and starting to uh, come out by themselves. So I'm gonna try to get them down. All right. Look at that. Oh, look at that. She got a naked butt. Naked butt with the yurt. It's happening, people. My helper, and then not my helpers, my friends aren't here yet. Uh, I might be done by the time they get here. Let's see. Look at Teddy up there, wondering what's going on. There's Bill. And there's a naked yurt. way of unloading a truck. Oh! <laughs> I didn't think you're going that far. <laughs> That's gangster. <laughs> So we got some stuff in a trailer. I'm trying to, where the hell's the camera? I'm trying to bring this tarp upstairs. I'm gonna cover the, uh, cover the felt. So there's the empty air base. There's some felt. There's the canvas wrapper and the house wrap and a wasp looking to sting someone. So I'm gonna try to wrap these up. Uh, I didn't want to keep Bill around here too much. He did a lot today. The rest of the stuff I could get myself. So let me try to roll these things up and uh, protect him from the rain. All right. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird not seeing the yurt there. How? <clears throat> and there's a Johnny cat. He wants to take a walk. You want to take a walk? Let's go. Where's Eddie Murphy? I can't imagine you coming without Eddie Murphy. But yeah, the earth's down. Uh, it was actually quite easy. Most of it I did myself the last part. Um, I had my buddy Bill come. He helped out with the, uh, the stuff I couldn't do by myself. We loaded some stuff in his Jeep, in his uh, pickup truck. The rest of it I unloaded with my Billy Ray Valentine. And uh, the poles and the glass, I guess I'll get that tomorrow. It's gonna rain Friday, so. But that's just wood. We I mean, could get wet for a day. It's not that big of a deal. Right, Johnny Cat? So yeah, it's pretty sad. Well, I mean, it's a, whoop, I lost my shoe. It's pretty sad that I didn't get, that I had to take it down. Uh, but it is <clears throat> a big thing.
thing off my to-do list. That thing was uh, troubling me. One of those things that I did not want to do. Not fun taking stuff, taking stuff down. Putting stuff up, pretty fun, but taking down, nope. So there's my wood burning stove, it's still there. There are the poles. Yeah. That used to say Mr. Fix-It lives here. That was from Maryland. Those are the walls, those are the poles that hold up the metal. There's the canvas. And that's it. There's my pooper. That's staying there. And there's the dog. I knew the dog would come. There's dog. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps any of you uh, thinking about getting a yurt. I give them two thumbs up, even though I did have to uh, redo my base, and you know it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Even though actually, I mean, this was temporary. I didn't plan on keeping this very long anyway. That's why it's built so crappily. Um, so yeah. Hope this video helps somebody, show you what not to do. And uh, guys, I might have to uh, monetize my videos, which I really hate to do, but YouTube does not put my videos out there, I found out, if they're not monetized. So, because they just want to promote things that they're gonna get paid on. So, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> I don't know if I should, I hate, I hate, I hate. Maybe I could, I don't know. It stinks. But I want more people to watch these videos. Um, I enjoy doing it. The more comments I get, the more motivated I get doing it. So thank you all. And I will see you on the flip side. Alrighty, everybody. There's my final shot of the yurt. As last time that the ET will see that drone there, or any of us for that matter. <sighs> so she's going to go now to the upper left hand corner of this frame here. See up there somewhere. I wish I knew how to make like a little pointer or something, but I don't. So up there. Oh yeah, thank you, cameraman. All right, stop. Ah, oh, don't. No. Oh, okay. Stop. And then to the left, oh, I guess he's doing this on purpose. This was the past tense tennis. All right. So see the, uh, the browner grass? That's mine because it hasn't been cut, so the tops die. But underneath it's uh, green. So the upper left-hand corner is where I plan on putting the yurt. That clear spot in the middle there that's disappearing now is where the windmill's going to go. And uh, that's all Brian's pastures right there. See the cows in the upper left hand corner, little brown dots. So the landing strip that looks like an airport or something. That is the road that they had to build to get the well in there. The well is the gray, see the big gray clump towards the left. And it's like dripping down the hill. That's all the, uh, the gray jibber jabber, that, uh, the stone. That was dug up by the... Well. Alright guys. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Tell your friends. Uh, I don't know. Spread the word. I love you all. Peace out. Woo-wee!